Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is collision domain and broadcast domain. But in order to understand these two concepts, I must talk about three networking devices at the same time. These three networking devices are hub, switch, and router. Let me talk about hub first. Hub operates at layer one or the physical layer of the OSI model. It's a dumb device. It never thinks. No IQ. When hub gets signals from one node, it would forward them to all other connected nodes. A hub creates and expands a collision domain. And what is collision domain? In an Ethernet network or TCP/IP network, a collision domain is a group of nodes that can hear each other. When one node is using hub, all other nodes must wait. Collision occurs when two nodes send signals at the same time. If the collision domain gets too large. Uh, you will start running into、uh, traffic problems. If you try to daisy chain or cascade some hubs, you actually expand the collision domain. The more hubs we use on a local network, the larger collision domain we create. Now let's talk about a switch. Traditional switches operate at layer two. Or data link layer of the OSI model, while the modern switches can operate at layer three or even layer four. But here we only talk about a traditional、uh, layer two device. A switch is much smarter than a hub, and because it gives every conversation the full bandwidth of the network. For example, when node A is talking. Only its receiver B can hear. When node C is talking, and only its receiver D can hear, communications become one-to-one -one conversations. Both A and C can talk at the same time. No collision would occur. Thus, switch separates the collision domain. When first turned on, switch copies the source MAC addresses and builds a table of MAC addresses of each node. This MAC table is called source address table, or simply set. Switch uses the table to create point-to-point -point connections between each pair of communications nodes. Even with more nodes are connected to the switch, switch still give every conversation full bandwidth of the network. Therefore, switch separates collision domains, but creates a broadcast domain. Now, what's the broadcast domain? A broadcast domain is a group of nodes where they can reach each other. By broadcast, specifically, any node using 12 F's as a destination MAC address is broadcasting. Any other node can hear a broadcast. Router operates at layer three, or the network layer of the OSI model. Routers only forward IP packets based on the IP address. Routers not only separate collision domains but also separate broadcast domains. Look at these three separate local area networks, red, purple, and green, connected by a router. Any conversation in red LAN would not be heard. By purple and green local 
networks. Even broadcasting in the red area would not go across the boundary set by the router. In summary, a hub creates and expands both collision domain and broadcast domain. A switch separates collision domain but creates a broadcast domain. A router separates both collision and broadcast domain. I hope this video is helpful and please feel free to leave your question below if I didn't make myself clear. I will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and see you next time.